Union and Intersection of Sets. We are now going to focus on the intersection of sets. You will find this on page 75 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Intersection of sets. The intersection of set A and set B is the set of elements which are common to both A and B. It is represented by A intersection B and that is the sign. Can you see? It's not like a cup who can fill a lot of things. It's upside down. So there's only a certain amount that so it actually means only the elements that's in A as well as in B. The intersection of the two sets A and B is represented by the grey and in this case I think it's rather green region in the Venn diagram show. Okay, so do you see it's only that part, the overflowing, so the overlap. Okay, let's look at an example. The universal set E, and that's the numbers up to 10, draw a Venn diagram, place the elements in the appropriate regions and identify P intersection Q in each of the following cases. Okay, so let's, let's start by looking at the first one. Okay, so make, let's first always start to see if there's elements that's in both. So one, two, it looks like three is in both, and it looks like four is in both, and it looks like eight is in both. Can you see three, four, and eight? So if I draw uh, two circles, the overlap will be three, four, and eight. And then, then there is one and two, and this one nine. And to see what start from the front and scratch. So scratch one, scratch two, scratch three, scratch four, scratch eight, start here, three is already scratched, four scratch, eight is scratch, and still nine. And what is left then? Five, six, seven, and ten. Five, six, seven, and ten, and that. And then the question, um, P, intersection Q, so intersection, so it will be three, four, and eight, as you can see in the Venn diagram. Okay, I'm just going to take this scratching away. Okay, let's look at number B. So set B is this and Q have, okay, now if you look, 5, 6, 7, 10, 3 and 4, there's no common elements. So it's disjoint set. So I don't let them overlap. I just draw them separately. So then it's actually very easy. You just fill in 5, 6, 10, 7 and 10. 3 and 4, and again, to see which ones start scratching out. So start with 5, 6, 7, 10. And then the next one, 3, 4. Okay, and what is then left? 1, 2, 8, and no, 1, 2, 8, and 9. Okay, so, but now again, what was the question? P intersection with Q, there's no overlap, so it will be an empty set. Or you can indicate it, I just want to redo that bracket. Curly brackets, but nothing inside. Okay, and then the last one. Now, in this case, it will be better to first write it out, the multiples of 3. So what is the multiples of 3 here? Okay, so let's, if I write it out, it's going to be 3, 6, 9. Okay, and then prime numbers. That's going to be 2, 3, 5, 7. 11 is the next one. Now, now I'm going to see what is common. It looks like only 3. Okay, so that they overlap. Make the 3. Put then the 6 and 9. Put the 2, 5, and 7, and again, the easiest way to see what is outside is to scratch. So scratch 3, 6, 9. Here, 2, 3, sorry, scratch, 5, and 7. So what will be left? 1, 4, 8, and 10. 1, 4, 8, and 10. And then again, P, intersection with Q, what will it be? 3, and very important, don't just say 3. Then it's, it's actually, if you say, for example, N, and then it's also not curly, it's round brackets, P, intersection, Q. And then how many were, there's one. Then you don't put curly brackets. But in this case, you must 
put the curly brackets. Okay. I want you to stop the video. Okay. And I want you to just move it down a little bit. I want you to do number 12. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Let's start. The universal set E is the letters from A to O. So the best will first be to, to write it out. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, K, L, N, N, O. Okay, that is. Then I'm going to start and I'm going to say, A is this and B is this. Now draw them and place the elements in the appropriate regions and identify in each of the following cases. So in this case, I'm now going to first draw my Venn diagram. Okay, so let's make my Venn diagram. Do that one a bit better. Okay, and then this is my universal set. And now I must first see if there's overflowing, overlap. Okay, so B, no. Um, e, let's see if I see E, uh, no. A, I see A. Can you see A? And I see uh, H. That is the two that I see. Okay, A and H. So now I'm going to draw my two sets. A and overflow. Okay, it's too small. I'm going to make it both bigger. So this is A and this is B and I'm going to put A and H. And then I'm going to put here the rest. B, E and C. And the rest N and D. But now it's very important that I see the rest that must be outside. Now the best will be to start here. So B, then it's E, then it's A, then it's C, then it's H. Okay, H is already, A is already, and then N and D. Oh, let's see, D. Okay, and then what will be left? It looks like F, if I'm going to use another color. It looks like F, G, I, J, K, L, you can put it even here, M, and the last one is O. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and then the final answer, they just want A, intersection with B, and that will just be A and H. Okay. Okay, and then the next one, uh, that's that. And then number B, let's see if we can fit in B. Now, again, I think the best will first be to write down my universal set. Okay, what will I take this color? Um, I'm going to take it green again. And because I already scratched that one. It's better to redo it. Otherwise, do pencil and pen it and you can just rub it out. Okay, that's the ones. Okay, that bracket that's always coming out so curly. Okay, now I'm going to do my universal set again. Just use a ruler, make it nice if you can. Circles is not so necessary to use a compass, but the rest is, it will just help a little bit with neatness. Okay, now first look. I N C O M E H I L. There's no intersection. Can you see that? So then this will be also disjoint sets. And I will just call this A. And then it's actually very easy to fill it in. So it's I N C O M E H A 
L F. And now it's just that that I have to see what's outside. So let's let's look here from the original one. It's always better to work. So I scratch, then look there, N is scratch, then C is scratch, then O is scratch, then M is scratch, then E is scratch, then H is scratch, A is scratch, can you see there? L is scratch and F is scratch. So what is left? It looks like a B, it looks like a D, and it looks like a G, do you see? And then it looks like a J, do you see? And a K, and that, okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five. It looks like five, one, two, three, four, five. That's left. And that's how you do that. Oh, forget the final. Then don't forget A, intersection B. You can either do this or you can write it as an empty set. But I think then it's better to rather, I'm just going to say also A intersection B. Okay, either this or like this. Okay, let's look at example 13. I can move up a little bit. Show the region represented by this using the Venn diagram. Okay, let's first just focus on shading and then I'll show you my number method. So first the shading, R, just shade, R, just R. Then S complement, that means everything that's not in S. You see there's S, but do, if, if the direction was like this, change the direction. Use a ruler, but shade everything that's not in S. So don't shade S. And then look. Where is your shading overflowing? Can you see you here, yeah, this part, there's, there's the first shading as well as the second. And that is then the required region. So do this with pencil. And then with pen, you indicate the required. And then you, you actually clean the pencil. Okay. Or rub out the pencil. So, but let me show you the numbers. It's really working. And I did it in my first, um, when I first wrote the ordinary level book. In 2000, 2002, I published it. Then I did this method, but I don't publish the book anymore. I think I improved it a little bit over the years. But this is the method that I use, and I'm going to show you in the video now. So I, this outside is one, or this part is two, this is three the over the intersection, and this is four. So if I then, then I will just say, what is R? And now I'm just going to work on the numbers. So R is going to be 2 and 3. And then what is going to be S complement? Everything that's not in S, so it's 1 and 2. But then R, intersection, S complement. That means what is in both? Now it's only 2 in both. Can you see that? So now I'm just going to where was two standing? Can you see? And, and I prefer that you use a ruler. It's always the best. It doesn't matter how you do the shading. Okay. And it's exactly the same as there. Can you see? So use the numbers. It says, but don't use too many numbers. Just use one number for a specific region. Okay. Let's do the next. Oh, you can stop the video and first do try now 13. Okay. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. You can do either this method or the method with the numbers. Now, because this other method is in the teacher's guide, I'm going to focus on the method with the numbers. So let's call it again one, two, I just want to get my pen correct, two, three, and four. Okay. And then I'm going to start. So X complement, just according to my number, Cover X, cover, and what is it? One and four. And then Y's complement. Can you see? So cover Y, and it's one and two. Okay. And then I'm going to say X complement intersection with Y's complement. Okay. Now what is in both? Now if I look, I can only see that one is in both. 
Do you see that? So I will just shade, but one is representing this area. So you take your ruler, I'm doing the shading here, and then start shading. See if it's on the ruler. Don't shade the circles. Only if they are, but do it nice and clearly. Sometimes I'm struggling a little bit more with the pen. And I think you can do even a better job. Okay, and that's how you do that.